Okay, now for what has to be our favorite segment of the year because we have a dog in studio with us right now. Meet Paula Jean. To be distinguished from Paula Margaret. <laughs> right. Paula Margaret Eben. This is Paula Jean. Her owner, Tom Shelby, is a dog trainer of 40 years in New York, and now he lives on Martha's Vineyard. And he has a new book out right here Dog Training Diaries Proven Expert Tips and Tricks mm -hmm. to Live in Harmony with Your Dog. Tom and Paula Jean, thank you so much for coming in. We My appreciate pleasure. it. Very nice to meet you, and very nice to meet Paula Jean. Tell us about her well she's a standard poodle she's seven years old I adopted her when she was uh, two years old she's smarter than a few of my friends uh, <laughs> very very cooperative and uh, just a lover and this is your book dog training diaries proven expert tips and tricks to live in harmony with your dog tell us about the book I quote Mark Twain a lot uh, where he said um, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. And that's been my life, working with the dogs. I helped so many people, I wanted to be able to share it. And most manuals that I've read are really somewhat boring. So uh, I wrote this in the form of parables and um, made it a fun read. Um, and I think people will really enjoy it if they, if they read it, in addition to uh, learning a lot from it. You tell one story about a, a woman in New York who said something to you, you know, along the lines of you cost more than the shrink. <laughs> yes, uh, she at one point said, I, you know, I'm more expensive than a shrink, and I knew her well enough to say, yes, but I'm getting results. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, we had a good time with that, and um, nice lady, um, and... I was more expensive than her shrink. So yeah, it's a lot of little stories like that throughout the course of the book. Many stories like that throughout the course of the book. And I help the people create harmony. And the book also includes many questions that people have about their dogs. How do I stop the dog from chasing squirrels? Why does my dog roll in disgusting stuff? Mm -hmm. I have all these different types of questions which are answered in the book. All these right. questions I've gotten over so many years of training is, is what has happened. Um, and been presented in the book. In fact, you say there are three commands that every dog should know in order to be considered a well-trained dog. Can you show us those with Paula? Um, yeah, well, dogs read body language and voice, and there's no domestic animal that denotes body language of a human better than a dog. Paula. That's the, the, the now she's anticipating I'm gonna mm -hmm. tell her to go down. Now, if I, <laughs> Paula, come. That's an S-I-T, that's a S-T-A-Y, this is a C-O-M-E, that's an S-T, uh, S-I-T, this is a D-O-W-N. Uh, I don't have to say any of these things mm. because dogs, she will stay there because dogs read body language. Mm. And if I go like this, she will come and sit automatically. And that's the D-O-W-N again. So if I go like this, she plays dead. <laughs> Well, uh, so the three good. you're saying you want to focus on her. Stay, come, and, and, and leave it. And a leave it command. Now, especially if you're going to have a dog off leash mm -hmm. and the dog sees a squirrel or a deer across the street and you say leave it, you want her to leave it alone. Right. If you're walking on the sidewalk and there's a pizza crust on the ground, mm -hmm. you want to be able to say leave it and she ignores it. If you're in a hurry and your dog wants to meet another dog, you could say leave it and she's mm -hmm. got to ignore that dog. And you said you have very practical advice. Uh, my Jack Russell Teddy gets into the garbage. So right. if you have a dog who does that, what do yes, you Yes, I, I kind of designed the concept of the dog god. So as I explained to Lady Paula that <laughs> if you set up a mirror, you put food on the coffee table in a Tupperware container that's perforated so the dog smells it, and you set up a mirror, leave the room. When the dog's nose touches that Tupperware container, you can bang two pots outside the room, and the dog will get very startled and relate that startlement to taking the food it shouldn't be taken. So that's the dog got it. Sees all all the time and doesn't like it when you take my stuff. And the dog begins to think even if my owner's not here, I can't get away with that. Exactly. You see, your dog may not take your food when you're in the room, but if you're not in the room, the dog still needs not to take your stuff. So the other problem so many people have, and we have this with our dog at home, she barks 
whenever people come over and she barks and basically until they leave unless they're sitting down what's a good way to deal with a dog that barks at guests well assuming and you tell me if you meet the guest outside the house will your dog bark at them no okay so just step outside your house a few feet away from the house and have some treats that you give to your guest yeah. and I usually slip my guests some treats outside slip anyway. the guest some <laughs> treats have the guest give your dog what's your dog's name Lily have your dog give Lily some treats, then walk into the house together. Have your guests walk in the house before Lily. It eliminates some of the territoriality mm -hmm. response. And then have your guest immediately tell Lily to sit, give her a treat, have the guest sit down. He'll be less imposing and frightening to the guest. And call Lily over, give treats, and you're done with the barking. Oh, well, Paula Jean was very well behaved. <laughs> yes, <that laughs> Better did. behaved than this Paula. Usually most times. I would and say that's true. <laughs> yes, Tom Shelby, Dog Training Diaries. Looks like a great book. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for Thanks joining for us, again. and thank you for the tips. We'll You're use them. We'll let you know how it goes. Excellent. You do that. <laughs> thank you. Tom, thank you so much.